Well, the power in Division II men's college basketball lies in the NSIC, home to the top two unbeaten teams in the country. 14-0 Minnesota State Mankato ranks second, and for the first time ever, 14-0 Minnesota State Moorhead ranked first. Sioux Falls and Southwest Minnesota State will get familiar with Moorhead as they visit the Dragons' den this weekend. Brad Diggler's Mustangs getting the first shot at the Dragons on Friday night. Both teams tied up at 70 in the second half of a great game. Cliff Kofeld working down low, hangs through some pressure and hits against the tough defense to give the Mustangs a two-point lead. But back comes the number one ranked team in the country. Jacob Benenga firing from three-point land, misses his first shot, follows that one up. No good again, yet the third time is the charm. This game would go on into overtime. We're now tied up late at 86. Dunwa Omat with his second free throw good. This gives the Mustangs a one-point lead. Final seconds now. It's Beninga looking for an opening, and he drives to the key, pops through the sea of defenders, and gets it to go. One-point lead for Moorhead. Dragons with one last look with two seconds left, but desperation shot no good. And the upset bid falls short as SMSU loses by 188-87. Same teams in the women's game up next. The Mustangs with a slim lead early on, looking to add to it. This is Sam Wall driving down low, well covering the post, yet spins and hits the fadeaway. A few seconds later, the hometown Dragons looking to respond. They feed it to Olivia Skeebel in three-point territory, and she knocks that one down to tie things up. However, the Mustangs would stampede the rest of the way. Hannah Parsley parses the defense behind the arc and lets that one fly. As SMSU earns the split in the doubleheader, they take this one 74 to 61.